okay welcome back everybody um i am currently recording this video outside i am more of on the street so i needed to do this because uh this is uh this is the main time that i have to do this now if i don't do this there will be, there will be no way i'll be able to meet up all right so today we we are still in HTML level two and this is part four forms and labels so today we're going to be um looking at label how to add the label to an input i just want you to know that the use of the label tag will allow you to add labels in front of an input in your html form and all, and also we will also explore how to activate actions upon clicking a submit so without wasting much time let's dive in and let's do some coding now this is where we left our code in our next clip this was exactly where we stopped and we're going to continue from here we're going to modify this so if you can see i'm still on form.html that is i'm still on this particular file called form.html and we're going to be modifying it this was our output where we stopped so now if you notice we have a value here right a value and we give it a value of full name that is exactly what is showing here now if you notice now if i want to type and um, type in my name let's okay the prof discover that the full name is still valid is still showing and it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be that as soon as i click on as soon as i click on on this particular button and i start entering my details this full name is supposed to automatically what go out of it but since we are making use of value the full name is still there so for us to take care of this now we need to clean up this value first of all we are going to remove this name right so instead of the value we are going to make use of another keyword called play m called placeholder i'm going to be explaining the difference shortly now in the uh, uh in the place of the full name that we used in the value so let's add that that full name in the placeholder here now let me call this the placeholder called full name i will together now so i have it saved if i should refresh you can see now that the full name here is a bit lighter you know kind of gray and gray in color it's not as bold and as dark as what we initially had in the uh, in the value right now watch this now if i should start typing now you discover that the full name is off the track as soon as i go the full name is what is off when i clean it the full name is back is that okay now now let me remove this again let me see I want you to get what I'm, what I'm really, what I'm really explaining. Okay. Sorry. Now, let me cut this out. Let me go back here and say full name in the in the value, full name, right? And see. If I refresh, we have our full name again, right? So type it now. That full name is today. If I should remove this, and I type, it's no longer there because I've removed it. Now, if you discover now, once I go back, and this field is now empty you discover that the full name there is nothing there again so the value the value is only active when we refresh but when we make use of the placeholder now when, when we make use of the placeholder now that we use then i say let me refresh we are now making use of the placeholder now what i type anything the full name is not there once i go back the full name appears I don't know if you're getting it so the placeholder is used instead of the value when we're dealing with fields is that again yes i believe it's working is it working yes it's working all right so in the place of the email here we have this uh, value as email address we are going to be making use of what placeholder instead right so we have the placeholder then we have this i refresh i save then i refresh we have this also now so when we type, when we type the name is out don't forget i told you earlier that i am outside so you are going to be hearing some kind of noise uh you just have to be with <laughs> you, you just have to be with me all right so um you know we said we want to be looking at we want to look at label how to add a label so i will declare the word label i will say label right Oops. label right automatically it's uh it's ends it with the closing tag right now in between the label 
in the place of this full name i want to have a full name here there's a full name right full name and it's going to be it's going to carry a keyword called for for i'll say for full name for full name right for full name full name right i just wanted to get it you understand but uh you might be getting some noise i've told you be here with us for today all right i save this then my id id full name i save i save this i refresh you can see now that we have full name here to this field are you getting it now if you discover that this um this stuff are too close and you want to break it down you want to break this you want this to be below this so what you do what you do you yeah. we are going to make use of break yeah. there's a keyword called break we'll, we'll make it of we'll make it of break just called br br means break as soon as we call that we see whatever we have here now is going to come below this so we refresh this so we have this on diet now you are getting it so now we add another br break that means we want to we want this to come down again i refresh this again discover that this is below uh it's no longer as tight as before break means break to another line give it a space that is just a simple meaning right so we have this now oops okay i've done something else <laughs> All right, so let's add the value to this as well. In order to speed in this project, I will just copy this. I will copy this label. I'll give a space here. Then add another label. Then I'll call it the name. Let, let me call it email. All right. That is the label. And in the place of this full name, I will add email. I will, I will make it email. All right. Then the type email is still there. All right. So let me break. I save. I refresh. Are you see now? We have email to be this now. Right? Good. <laughs> I have another student here. <laughs> Alright, I write another break. Let me add double breaks. So that I break, I refresh. I use another break now. So close to this uh, password now. Close to this password. I will also add another label and I'll call it password as well. Password, I save, I refresh. I have password. Alright, so we need to still change. We need to still change the label. Okay, I will stop here, then I will continue the next clip. Uh, I'll continue the next clip. Just give me some few minutes. Thank you.